everyone, Donna Bush here with your CIG Television News Brief on this Wednesday. Today, March 8th, is International Women's Day and the campaign theme is Embrace Equity. The day has become part of Honouring Women Month celebrations here in the Cayman Islands. The Family Resource Centre's Program Coordinator, Anne-Marie Diaz, explains more. This year, the theme is Embrace Equity. And so all of our events and our offerings in some way or another aim to address equity. Um, and of course, equity is about acknowledging individual differences, uh, celebrating those, and ensuring that everyone has a, um, an opportunity, right? Um, as opposed to equality, which kind of recognizes a one-size-fits-all sort of glove. And so we're turning away from that, addressing uh, individuality, um, which encourages more inclusiveness in the workplace and in the community. Our annual Color Me Purple 5K, our fun run, is again, um, we have it every year. It's Sunday the 26th at 6.30, starting at Seven Mile Beach. Uh, lots of prizes to be won, especially for those that uh, are the purplest. Um, so really exciting events. Another important event will take place on Kim and Brack, the Empower Her Camp is open for registration for girls ages 12 to 15. To get details and to register for the variety of uh, FRC events, many of which are free um, and taking place in the month of March, you can call 949-0006 or email frc at gov.ky. A high-level meeting was hosted by HMCI and the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, or SEDEMA, this week to discuss regional and national capabilities for a rapid response to a large-scale emergency in the Cayman Islands or in the region. The meeting was facilitated by HMCI Director Danielle Coleman and SEDEMA's Executive Director Liz Riley, who both spoke to the CIG television crews about the point of the meetings and the value the Cayman Islands adds to regional efforts as it relates to disaster recovery. The point of the conversation today has really been focusing around that what can the Sedema mechanism do for us, obviously, if, if Cayman's impacted by disaster, but also what can we do in the region? Um, so, from a, again, from an RCIP's point of view, from air operations, from Cayman Airways, our national carrier, hazard management, a Coast Guard, the regiment, um, cadets, there's, there's so many resources that Cayman can offer the system um, that we've been obviously discussing today with our international partners. Uh, one of the great things that, again, I think we've seen from experience, past experience, both in Irma, in Dorian, um, is that you know when we deploy overseas, obviously it, we bring back a, a, a lot of information to Cayman about how we can improve our practices as well and make sure that we're doing best practice. So it's got a really good benefit for both sides. If, if Cayman's deployed elsewhere, we can learn a lot from that experience. We were really pleased to hear about the helicopter capabilities of the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service. Um, airlift is a big issue for mm -hmm. us every time we have to respond because we have very limited capability and we depend a lot on external partners. So it's good that one of our sister states has that kind of an asset, which as we learned today is going to be made available um, if, if, if requested and of course with the permission of the leadership here. In attendance and making presentations were the Governor's Office, the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service, the Cayman Islands Coast Guard, the Regiment, uh, the Cadet Corps, Cayman Airways and HMCI. Now, Sedema Executive Director Liz Riley stated if the Cayman Islands was impacted by a large-scale emergency, the Sedema Coordinating Unit based in Barbados would reach out to the HMCI Director to determine if temporary external support was needed. Turning to the forecast for tonight, calls for partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for similar weather conditions through to Thursday evening as an increased chance of showers is expected on Friday as a weak frontal boundary moves over the northwest Caribbean region. Now the synopsis calls for moderate east to northeasterly winds and seas which are expected over the next 24 hours across the Cayman Islands area that uh, is associated with a weak pressure gradient over the Northwest Caribbean region. Now remember to check out weatherservices.ky, the website, as well as the Cayman Islands Weather Services Facebook page for more on local weather. That's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a safe and wonderful night and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.